Hey, this is Bray from the Art Tavern with a tutorial on how to paint metal. So starting off, um, let's get some basic shapes in here. So I'm just going to take my uh, marquee tool, which is M, and I'm going to make a couple blocks here. And these will be slabs of metal. So what you want to do is you want to choose your base color. So I'm going to make one kind of chrome or silvery and I'm going to make the other one um, a gold color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my color picker here and I'm going to choose, you know, like a, a gray, maybe a little bit on the blue side, um, a little bit dark. So maybe like a 60% gray, choose that and uh, fill top square here, whoops, and this bottom square I'm gonna kind of choose um, like a, a burnt gold color, kind of close to olive, kind of close to brown, probably around there. And I'm going to hide my selection, but I'm going to keep it on um, because that will be useful for later so we don't, you know, start painting um, off the of borders of these blocks. So to do that, you can hit Control H and that will hide your selection. And what we want to do is we want to hit O to bring up our burn or dodge tool. Um, and to cycle through the the dodge and the the burn tool and and saturation, um, what you do is you hold down shift and you can just tap O while holding shift, and that will cycle through um, dodge, burn, and desaturate tool. So choosing, I'm gonna go right now for my burn tool. Um, I want this to be set on shadows. And I'm going to choose a, a somewhat soft brush, and I'm going to lower the exposure to probably um, 30. The lower it is, the more control you have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some streaks here, just going across. Okay. So now, again, hitting um, Shift and O, we'll be switching to our Dodge tool. And up here, we want to go to Highlights. And I'm just going to leave the exposure at 10%. And again, with kind of a large soft brush, um, you want to get in between where those dark streaks were. Well, actually, um, also, if you want to, you know, once you're doing this and you want to have it kind of like an embossed finish, what you could do is go down here in your effects panel, down by the bottom of the layers, you can add a layer style by clicking this and going to bevel and emboss. And here you'll be given uh, different um, sliders that will allow you to emboss. So you have maybe inner bevel, emboss, pillow, and whatnot. Um, I'm going to cycle through these and pick the one that I like most. I think I'm going to go with what it was before, the inner emboss. And uh, I'm going to raise this up. This gives it a, like a darker shadow and a, high, uh, a hotter highlight. And also raise the size up here so you guys can see it a bit more. I'm also going to choose a chisel hard edge instead so you get more of a, a crisper edge. And 
Let's multiply. Uh, I think I'm going to go for overlay. For both uh, the highlight and the shadow. Um, the shadow doesn't really matter so much um, with overlay as opposed to multiply, but you can also, uh, it affects it differently if you change the color of the shadow, which I'm not going to for now. You may want to tweak it later on. So anyway, so we have this effect, but to add those little specular highlights that you usually see, you know, kind of um, pop out from maybe jewelry or whenever a light of some sort hits it at a certain angle, you get like this little hot spots. So to do that, we're going to click on new layer and we're going to fill this layer with our paint bucket by hitting G and fill it with black. And then we're going to switch over from normal normal mode to color dodge and and it will look completely the same like there's no difference so the reason why we do this is now we're going to switch over to our brush by hitting B and with not a completely hard edge but not a super soft edge kind of somewhere down the middle and plus I'm going to drop my opacity of my brush may be down to a little bit lower. I don't know, maybe 60%, 70%, somewhere in between. Now, the color I'm going to use for this brush is going to be white. So now, when we paint, it's going to be super, super high specular. So actually, this is way, way too strong. So I'm going to drop this down to 20% and see how that works. That looks pretty nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to change my brush here. So what I'm going to do is wherever the, the highlight streaks are, I'm going to gently Put in a little specular and also around the corners. Kind of go along this edge actually, but then just emphasize where the highlights are. And you know, wherever it just kind of seems like bleh. Uh, add another spec just for kicks. So maybe like around here. So another thing to keep in mind is if you're doing something like, let's say, armor or weaponry or something that has a lot of wear and tear, um, you can bump up the opacity to make your highlight color a little bit stronger and then you can sharpen up that brush. And you can use this as highlights to scratches. Oops. So you can use this as kind of a highlight for if you had any uh, nicks in metal. And then you can take a, a darker color and then kind of just line it underneath this, but you'd have to do it on another layer because it's not going to work on your color dodge layer. So I just made a new layer and with a dark color I'm just kind of going underneath here. 